God day, gods and goddesses, elegant soul food to consecrated nature, baby. Here today to share some energy with you. I pray that this message finds you all well. I'm chilling in the place, the most dangerous place in the world for somebody with allergies. <laughs> I'm allergic to grass where I'm at, in the grass. I'm allergic to trees. I'm allergic to pollen. Essentially, my allergy thought was like, you're allergic to the outside, wear a mask. I'm just like, I am a nature baby. I came from this. How can I be allergic from which, from uh, to that to which, from which I came from? So, as Tupac was saying, against all odds, I'm out here and I'm going to be out here. Uh, I only got, I'm going to do two cards today. And again, we're just checking, um, just sharing some energy messages for you all. The one deck that I'm using is, um, the four agreements, the four Toltec agreements, uh, be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. And I hope that these cards, uh, the, the two cards I'm going to pull today, maybe more, hopefully it's just two cards, is going to help increase your awareness and give you some food for thought and bless you somehow with these messages. So here we go. What's the energy for today? What's the word for today? Whenever you see in this video, what's the meaning? What's the word? What's the purpose? What's the need? What's the message? What's the good word? What's the message? What's the good word? What's the message? Let's see. This one. They got all mixed up. So I took the top and the bottom from here. The first card is don't take anything personally. And it says, refuse to eat emotional poison. Refuse to eat emotional poison. And she's blowing one of my babies, a dandelion. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. Wow. That's personal. Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. So, when people take things personal, People that want to feed off those negative emotions will get a breeding ground. When you get hooked up and you hook your attention on their opinion and they spread that poison, that's toxic for you, baby. It's toxic for me. That's a personal message. Um, be, per be impeccable with your words. So the first one was don't take anything personally and be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. And I get into it with my people about the word intentions all the time because they say uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, meaning that you could say you have good intentions and you could cause great harm to somebody. So when this is says manifest your true intentions, we're talking about you actually living and speaking life and power and goodness and kindness. So regardless of your intention your actions are going to show loving and truth so manifest your true intentions make it a reality not just some words oh they took what i said wrong it's got to be deeper and bigger and larger and lighter and easier than that so regardless of what language you speak your intent will manifest through the word what you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be all will all be manifested through the word. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will all be manifested through the word. Now, 
something just dropped in my spirit about this also is that how the spirit realm how the universe how the other side of our reality communicates with us through frequencies through numbers when um when a frequency speaks to me i speak back to it when i see 10 10 5 5 5 uh 4 4 4 3 3 3 12 12 534 whatever your number is when i see that i speak back to it when i find money i speak to it when i get blessed i speak to it i talk back to it and i welcome it and i thank you the lady at the grocery store thought i was crazy today i found watermelons with seeds in it i found grapes with seeds i'm like i'm so blessed today i'm so blessed today i'm finding real food i'm finding food with seeds in it. i'm just like thank you thank you thank you and i'm in the grocery store just like thank you thank you thank you I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to have some organic food in times where they're literally, you know, killing us by taking the seeds out of the food and giving us the genetically modified stuff and we don't have to have it. So in all variations of the language, it's just like um, you can hear a smile in any language. Laughter is the same in any language. So regardless of what language you speak, whether it's French, English, vibrations energy crystals whatever it is call that thing out and speak back to it and let it manifest through your word so when your intentions manifest when your true intentions manifest nobody is saying well i took it the wrong way because they felt it they felt that okay now i'm going to pull from the soul truth awareness deck. This deck is rough, man. It's so tight. What's the message for today? It's not in this glorious location. What's the message for today? Drinking my carrot and ginger juice. What's the message for today? What's today's action? What's the message for today? What's today's action? And today is the any day that you see this message. Whether you play it one time or ten times on ten different occasions, let this message be timeless. Let it be meaningful. Let it be purposeful. Let it be helpful. Let it be loving. Let it be generous. Let it be impotent. Not my mind, but thy mind. What am I supposed to share? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to know? I'm gonna shuffle this deck crazy again. Here it goes. I think I'm gonna take this top card and I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna take the bottom card also like I did on the last dance. Okay. Man, I feel some beautiful energy. I've never seen these cards before so I just want you to know this is a new deck. This is like the third time I've ever used them. Okay. The one that was on the top of the deck where can I ask for more help in my life? Until we can receive with an open heart, we never really, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Today's soul action. Today, ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. Today's mantra. I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. I don't know if you watched some of my other videos where I said somebody tried to give me some money. I was like, no, no, that's okay, no. And that they were like, if you don't take this money, we're going to fight. And I told a story about how when I was a small child, when I used to uh, go to Baptist church, I asked somebody for a change for a dollar. Uh, for the soda machine and they uh, just gave me the money and I was just like no no here just take the dollar and she was like don't do that when somebody's trying to bless you take it 
And so that's a lesson I've been struggling with. And I hope this message is working for you because it seems like all the cards I pull have been very personal today. I'll take it and I hope it blesses somebody. Uh, so one of the things, um, you know, I work in higher education. My um, One of my former supervisors, she's a vice president, said, why won't you delegate? Why do you do everything yourself? Why don't you delegate? And I, I've noticed over the years, growing up an only child, I just tend to do things because I'm the one to get them done. But God keeps sending people to help me do stuff. And I don't always ask people for help. And then sometimes, you know, we get into our feelings. Like if I ask somebody, they don't do how I want it done. Or they slow to do it. Or they don't do it like I want to do it. Oh, I might as well have did it myself. All of that is self-defeating. It's, it's self-defeating. It's not self-empowering. And um, I would say it borders on toxic positivity. Where somebody said, oh, she independent, she independent. And I, I correct people. I'm like, I'm not independent, I'm responsible. So because I can be responsible doesn't mean that I'm independent and I don't need any help. So I don't act like it, but then I shut somebody down when they start calling out for what it is. So hope that was a good explanation to help clarify that. So until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. But we think we are. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. For example, when you do something and it's not reciprocated, you might feel some kind of way. Like, I didn't even ask for much. And I'm not the kind to go tit for tat and try to keep tabs what I did, what you did, what I did, what you did. But not being able to give and receive like that it leaves the door open for that type of energy now second card what can i burn what can i burn i'm telling you i feel so personal <laughs> i hope this is helping somebody again i've never seen these cards but they speaking to me i feel like man i feel naked <laughs> all right burn it burn it burn it all the ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you were not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready, use them. Today's soul action, make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will the next chapter of your life look like? Ain't gotta put nothing else on that. That's all it is. I hope these messages have blessed you. And I'm about to pull those cards out the deck that I had just looked at earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to pull these cards out. And while I'm sitting here meditating in location, Lake Michigan, baby. Oh, my literary. My nap is blown away. Lake Michigan, baby. I'm out here on a bluff, a secret bluff, probably not a real secret. I'm out here on this bluff. Solo Dolo is one bench here. And as you can see, it's like the street behind me. So fortunate to be here by myself today. You did uh, hear the other people. There was a couple down here being cute, being cute on a date. But I, I, I loved sharing the energy with them. And again, I hope that this video blessed you. And I'll see you next time. Love and blessings.